Hi, my name is Jay. We're here today at Sears Bistro and I'm going to show you how to make a classic martini. People get a little bit nervous of making martinis. They get confused. Dry, not dry, bone dry, uh, gin, vodka. They're probably the easiest drink there is to make is basically just a glass of alcohol, keeping that as simple as possible in that explanation. What you're basically going to do is you're going to take your shaker. You're going to give just a little bit of vermouth, maybe about a dash. That was dry vermouth. Martinis typically are dry, unless somebody asks for it differently. The more vermouth you add, the more sweet it is. The more dry you want a martini, the less dry vermouth you're going to use. So that's where people get a little bit of confusion. Now we're going to take our gin, which martinis are typically gin, but you'll see a lot of people say I drink in vodka martinis. We're going to add our gin to our vermouth on ice. Some people like them shaken, some people like them stirred. Today, most people like them very, very cold. We're going to take our shaker. Shake is really, really good. The harder you shake it, the colder it's going to get. Now your glass is chilled. Throw that out. Grab your strainer. Got a very cold, dry, beef eater martini. Now, we could take a lemon twist, slice the twist off the edge of the lemon, garnish it with that. Some people like olives, some people may like a touch of olive juice and what they call a dirty martini. Uh, a perfect martini would be a little bit of dry vermouth and a little bit of sweet vermouth. There's a thousand variations and so many people get intimidated, but really a martini, a basic martini, is probably one of the easiest drinks that are out of build.